Yo, 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 it's me again. My voice is gone. Like, it's just fucking gone at this point. I, uh, I think I had, like, a sinus infection that was, like, in my throat. I don't know. It's been very weird. I, it's, it's been a really disgusting morning. <laughs> uh, for me in my hot shower. But then, um, my voice just keeps t- slipping, uh, into the future. It's a cool Space Jam reference for all you young kids out there. But, um, uh, <clears throat> I was sent some, uh, statistics today, and it blew my fucking mind. So, for those of you who don't know, let me try to muscle up some voice here. <laughs> Joe Gibbs Racing is, like, the best <laughs> Monster Energy NASCAR Cup team in, like, in the decade, really. But they were dominant last year. Um, Joe Gibbs hosts, they have four drivers. Uh, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, and Eric Jones. Um, <laughs> that team led about half of the laps of the entire year. Four people, four cars out of 40 on the track led half of the laps of the entire year. That is insane. That shit blew my mind. Uh, they broke the uh, the record for wins by a team in a single season. I think, I, think, I think they had 19. They beat Hendrick Motorsports, who had like 18 a few years ago. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. Um, but one thing that uh, you probably don't know is that um, Joe Gibbs Racing uh, has three drivers and one stand-in. Um, Eric Jones uh, has won, won one race last year, which is good. You know, good for him. He made the playoffs. What the fucking do? But this dude, led, he only led 179 laps. Out of over 4,000 that was led by his team. He only led 4.25% of the laps uh, that his team led. That is stupid. Basically, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, and Mark Trex Jr. led about 30%. Just over 30% of the laps of the entire season. They were basically, they were almost all the same. Um, but <laughs> Eric Jones only led 4% of the laps. He had one win out of 19. Like, this dude is garbage. Like, Eric Jones is trash. I have no idea how he is still in the Joe Gibbs car. Like, when he re-signed, that blew my fucking mind. Like, I was... Like, it was about halfway through the season. This dude had done shit. I'm like, he's, he's going to have to win multiple races to even be considered... Sunny back on the Joe Gibbs because they're on a fucking tear and Eric Jones isn't doing shit. I think the only the only reason why Eric Jones still might be there is that Joe Gibbs doesn't pay him as much as he does another real driver who would come in and take his spot. Because I guarantee old Christopher Bell is going to be driving the 95 next year. Christopher Bell is going to lead more laps than Eric Jones. That's a big prediction for Tuesday, uh, November 26th, I think that's what today is. Anyway, that's my prediction that Chris Bell is going to lead more laps than Eric Jones next year, and he's going to have more wins than Eric Jones next year. I think Chris Bell is going to push to be in that 20 car. Um, do I think he should have already been in the 20 car? Yes. <laughs> if anything, Chris Bell should be in the 20, and then fucking Eric Jones should be in the 95. Um, but yeah, that blew my mind. I saw he, he led 4%. Only 4%. You are one quarter of the team, bro. And you can only lead 4% of the fucking laps that you that your team <laughs> leads this year. Bro, sit down. Go back to Xfinity. Um, let someone else take your fucking reins, dude, because you ain't no good. Um, the only reason why he made the playoffs is because he got that win, and then he was ousted in the round of 16, which is the first round of the playoffs. Which is a lot... Usually, a lot of the bad drivers get cut off in the round of 16. Um, 
because usually those are the drivers that are able to like sneak out a win. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go because my voice hurts like hell, and um, yeah, those are my NASCAR thoughts for the day. Uh, there'll be more coming up in this podcast. I can hopefully fucking get started soon when I start making that money from this new job that I hopefully am still gonna get. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go. Peace.